man charged with threats on HRC with, quote, will cut your throats. A Maryland man has been charged with threatening the human rights campaign referencing the Nashville school shooting in which the shooter was said to be transgender. The Department of Justice filed a criminal complaint Monday against Adam Michael Natina, 34, of West Friendship, Maryland. He is accused of making the threat by phone to HRC's Washington, D.C. headquarters on the night of March 28th. A transcription of his voicemail says, quote, you guys going to shoot up our schools now? We're waiting. We're waiting. And if you want a war, we'll have a war and we'll fucking slaughter you back. We'll cut your throats, end quote. The March 27th shooting at Covenant Presbyterian School took the lives of three children and three adults. The shooter, who was killed by police, was said to have been a trans man. Right-wing politicians have been using the shooter's supposed identity to stir up hatred of trans people, although mass shooters are overwhelmingly cisgender men, mostly white. HRC spokesperson Elizabeth Beebe put the threat in the context of other attacks on LGBTQ plus Americans. She told the advocate, quote, the LGBTQ plus community is under attack in state houses across the country and on social media platforms. This violent, hateful rhetoric leads to stigma and stigma leads to physical violence, end quote. Yeah, that, that, I mean, this is this is what the fourth story now we're reporting. It's all the same thing that is, you know, I hope we're not becoming numb to it. But I do feel that many of these stories are not penetrating to the average American. And I think it is our voice. It's, it's our duty to try to put it out there, because I do think that people are really concerned about this if they knew what was going on. So. Yeah, well, let's, let's let's get the facts right first. There was a trans woman who shot up the school, unfortunately, right? It wasn't a trans man. And I'm honestly surprised that more of our community hasn't gone cuckoo and done something like this, you know? And I knew initially that they, that Republicans especially would use that, right, as a talking point and be like, look, all LGBTQ folks are bad. Look what this trans person did, killed children in this school, you know? It was one time. I mean, not not that one time, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. too many. It's too much yeah. already, exactly. you know, but I, I, I'm, it's awful that I'm surprised that it's happened only a, a small amount of times. Mm -hmm. You know, I really do. Like I said in the last story, I really do think that this is just opening up Pandora's box and it's going to be a lot more instances this way. And it's scary. Just Surprisingly, really on Fox News and conservative media, I've been watching to see if they're going to just pin all of this on on trans people. There are there were a couple comments, but I haven't yet seen this kind of backlash. But it takes one person, Trinidadi. Look yeah. at this person. It takes one person. Telling the HRC I'm going to go cut your throats? Like, wow. I mean, and the fact is Fox News is really irrelevant in, in conservative circles. And to that point, um, OAN and the other- They're entertainment. Well, no, no. no my, my point is, is that, that the, the, it's the message boards. It's where, it's where the hate is communicated. Fox News doesn't have to come out and say, um, you know, this is a, a symptom of uh, transgenderism mm -hmm. and we have to do it. No, the, the, the people behind the message boards, the people that are doing uh, dark web communications, those are the ones that are spreading the hate and that are spreading the message. And you notice they want to come after the trans community, but not the guns that have been responsible for dozens and dozens and dozens of child, child slaughters across our country. To your point, uh, the day uh, of the shooting, Marjorie Taylor Greene was quoted uh, as mm -hmm. tweeting in saying that it was the hormones uh, for the trans person that caused the shooting. And we can take guns off the table. Guns don't kill people. Okay, got it. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.